Oh, hey, Jesus is still Lord. Word still works. Psalm 91 is in full force for me. He that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High God shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. God's wings are covering me. The devil can't find me. I'm in the secret place of the Most High God, not the low God. I mean, he is the Most High God, and he is my father. He is my warrior. He is my healer. He is my Lord. He is my protector, and he goes with me wherever I go. And I love this, Psalm 91. I'm dwelling in the secret place, living in the secret place of the Most High God. Therefore, I am abiding under the shadow of the Almighty. Now look, but I got to say it. Verse 2, I told you this yesterday. Verse 2 says, and I will say of the Lord. I got to say it. I got to say Psalm 91. I got to confess what the word says. I must say, I will say of the Lord. He is my refuge. He is my fortress. In him will I trust. I put my trust over an almighty God. Now look at this. This is so powerful. I want to read it so that you don't miss this. Surely, now the word surely means nothing stronger, but surely he shall deliver thee. I'm going to take that for me. He shall deliver me from the snare of the fowler and from the noisome pestilence. I am the delivered one. I don't care what the devil has planned for you. Now, I'm, I'm over 50. I got my oldest son's 50. Uh, <clears throat> I'm going to live a long life, by the way, at least 120 years, maybe 150. I'm just telling you, the Bible promises me a long life. That's also here in Psalm 91. A thousand may fall over here at my side. All of the three or four guys that I ran around in high school, you know, fought my way in and out of the bars with, all of them's dead. I mean, you know, they've already gone. Um, my friend that I grew up with across the street, Jimmy Woodard, he died a couple of years ago. All of them's gone. I'm still here. I'm going to live a long life. The devil's not going to take me out until I finish my course, and my course is not finished. I got some things to do other than this little program, but I'm enjoying this. Watch this. Surely he shall deliver thee. Didn't say might. Now, the Bible does say in Isaiah, many are the afflictions of the righteous, but... I want to send her in on the butt, but the Lord delivereth them out of them all. Listen, I'm delivered, have been delivered. 2 Corinthians 1, 10 or 10, 1. I have been delivered. I am being delivered and I shall always be delivered. Jesus is my deliverer and there's nothing that the devil can plan that he can do to me because God has already got my deliverance in working order and I am the delivered. But I got to say it. I got to say it. I got to say I'm accidents free. Watch this. Surely he shall deliver thee from all the stuff that's in the world today. Listen, somebody said, well, you know, I don't think I'd go downtown New York City. I wouldn't go downtown Pell City, Alabama, unless I knew I was taking the Lord with me. Somebody said, well, I, I, you know, I don't know about this. I don't go to Walmart without believing God, that God goes with me and protects me from, from any evil, including the little old ladies that's riding around on their little uh, uh, um, handicapped carts. I was in there the other day, and this little old lady just zipping around. She didn't have any idea where she was, and I thought, thank God I saw that one coming. Delivered. I don't care how big or how small. Delivered. Protected. Surely he shall deliver thee from the snare of the fowler and the noisome pestilence. Watch this. He shall cover thee with his feathers. Remember I was talking to you the other day about that big old uh, swan coming after me, protecting them babies that was under his feather. And under his wings shall thy trust, his truth shall be thy buckler and thy shield. Now you got to say what the word says, not what the world says. Thou shalt not be afraid, watch, by the terror by night. Now, <clears throat> I like to sleep at night. But we travel sometimes at night. I'm not worried about it. I go wherever I want to go. If I wanted to go downtown Birmingham at night, I would go because I believe the angels go before me. I'm delivered from the terror that flieth by night. I'm not afraid of it, nor for the arrow that flieth by day. You know, this. we've got a lot of crazy things going on. People want to take away all the guns of everybody. Um, I got some guns going to hang on to them too. That's my Second Amendment right. I uh, didn't mean to get political today, but ain't nobody going to get my guns. But now I'm not depending on my guns to protect me. I'm depending on the angels to protect me. 
And somebody said, well, if there wasn't no guns, uh, there wouldn't be all these murders. It's a proven fact that people, more people are killed with knives and, and, and sticks. And, and go back to Genesis chapter 1. Uh, it was a rock that committed the first murder, murder, and God didn't blame the rock. He blamed the heart of the man that threw the rock. Hey, uh, didn't, I didn't want to go there, but I'm protected. I'm not worried about somebody shooting me. I'm not worried about going out there and a stray bullet hitting me. I'm protected. God goes with me and protects me like a big shield that's around me, and the devil can't harm me in the name of Jesus because I'm saying I'm protected out of Psalm 91. Now listen, you got to meditate on this, and you got to say it, say it, say it, because we are dwelling in the secret place of the Most High God, but we have to enforce that with our words rather than, oh, oh, oh I'm so afraid to go out at night. Oh, I'm not afraid to go out at night. I mean, you know, it's uh, 3 o'clock in the morning while I'm making this. I'm going to go out when I finish this and get me a, a biscuit and a cup of coffee. I'm not worried about some boogers being out there. Dear God, I'm bigger than they are, number one, but I got an angel on this side, an angel on that side, one going before me, one back here behind me. I'm protected because God's on my side. I'm dwelling in the secret place of the Most High God, and I am without fear. Man, I'm not afraid of nothing. Heard this story one time. I'll kind of bring it to a close with this. Uh, police officer pulls this lady over, and she's got a sawed-off shotgun laying in her seat of the car. She's got a, a 38 snub nose pistol laying there in her seat, and laying in her lap is a 9 millimeter uh, uh, handgun. And the police officer says, dear Lord, lady, uh, what are you afraid of? And she smiled and she said, not one thing, sonny. <laughs> she, was, she was ready. Hey, listen, I don't have to have all those weapons to protect me because I'm protected by the power of God. Not one thing, sonny. I'm not afraid of one thing, sonny, because I say every day that this stuff is working for me. Psalm 91 is my protection, and I rejoice with it. I'll be back with you tomorrow. So remember, Jesus is Lord. Thank God the word works.